Now it's really important that your lights are appropriately sized for your aquarium. Now there's some super powerful lights on the market now and you need to be aware that if you go and overpower your lights then if you turn them up too much you can actually cause your corals to photosynthesize themselves to death. So in a perfect world you want to get lights that are appropriately sized for your aquarium and you want to make sure that those lights are on a hundred percent for at least a period of the day it's best if they slowly ramp up in the morning and slowly ramp down at night but you want to make sure that they're on a hundred percent for at least a period of the time so often people will um, get on the internet follow some lighting plans that's worked for somebody else's tank and particularly they will have the whites way down and the, and the lights will be set to make the corals look super good but not actually allow them to ramp up to be powerful enough to uh, allow the corals to th thrive. And in reverse of that, it's really important that we don't um, give the corals too much light. If you're bringing your corals from a lower light environment, it's better to turn your lights down and then slowly ramp them up and allow the coral to get used to it so it doesn't get shocked. But at the same time, the key is to just have appropriately specced lights. Anyway, if you've had any issues with um, too much or not enough light, then put a little note on the bottom of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And remember that you can have too much of a good thing. Too much light is bad.